All right, real quick, we're gonna get to it and then get up out of here for the day. Um, I got a motivational message guest today. Uh, I told you I was gonna use it for the motivated my, my my barber. Dre is in the shop is on the show today. I think you guys have seen him in our barbershop episodes we've done. And one of the uh, I had you in on, on the studio once once upon a time too. Chase with the Hall of Fame. We got to do this, big dog. Yep. So we're gonna start with you. Awesome. Um, the Nevada Boxer Hall of Fame has been important to me since I moved out here. Uh, I know how important it is to you. You've been you've been involved from day one. Yes, sir. Um, my thing, and I'm gonna let you take over mm-hmm. with the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame, and the reason why it's Nevada and not Las Vegas is because they recognize anybody who's fought in Nevada. Yes, sir. But of course. Where you want to fight is Las Vegas. It's Las Vegas. <laughs> and my thing is, no disrespect to any other uh, Hall of Fame or anything like that, but you got to understand that while your fighters are in those Hall of Fames, all those fighters wanted to fight here. Yes. In Las Vegas. So, so I felt like when Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame kicked off, when the, I, I felt like I said, yo, this is a no brainer. You have to have a Hall of Fame in yes. Las Vegas. This is where everybody, this is the mecca of boxing. That being said, sir, talk to us about what's going on in this year's Hall of Fame. So mainly with this Hall of Fame, you know, we are at the historic um, Orleans Casino this year. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be our 12th induction gala. Um, Sean, I think you've been there for almost every single one. Just about. Yeah, yeah every single 12. one. Every single one. And uh, honestly, we're excited because this is going to be the biggest one that we've had so far. We are inducting the 2023 and also 2024 induction mm-hmm. class. Um, and the biggest thing that we're going to have, just so you guys know, let me rattle it off. Um, so it's going to be the August 8th through the 10th. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, uh, we're going to have a, a meet and greet experience as well, too. Like you've been familiar, you've helped us out with a couple times. Um, we're also going to have a, a Legends Boxing, is, I mean, sorry, a Legends Bowling event with all the greatest boxers as well, too. Mm-hmm. And then we're actually going to have, um, for the first time ever, we're actually doing the Chico Classic for Diego Corrales, the late and great Diego. Um, and you know what's great? I've, you know, I was you're paying attention to the show before here, just to give a shout out to the guys, Carmel, um, Armando, and uh, Armando, and also the Vargas Dynasty. Yeah. Um, we saw them before they were able to, you know, Absolutely. make it on that stage at yeah. our Green Belt Challenge. Yeah. Yep. And so, and and it's crazy to see the the young fighters there when they see a Sean Porter, when they see a Terrence Crawford, when they see an Evander Holyfield, mm-hmm. and they're like, man, I'm about to fight in front of these boxing greats. Mm-hmm. Um, the energy in that room is is really contagious. Mm-hmm. And then after that, we'll be having the gala as well to our induction gala. Um, and you can actually visit our website at nvbhf.com mm-hmm. to be able to get any of our three tickets available. Um, we have the ultimate weekend pass. I'm going to suggest that. Um, you're just going to be able to see everybody. Usually the fans there yeah. are... Through the roof, yeah. um, but for me, just so you guys know, I mean, I think everybody's a fan of boxing. Even if you've been a great boxer yourself, mm-hmm. everybody's a fan of boxing. Yeah. Um, and just to see the boxers, man, on yeah. the greatest night, yeah. you know, some of them haven't been in the limelight for 15, 20 years. Yeah. And just to see them and the fans around them, man, that's what I do it for personally. So um, just don't miss out, you guys. Don't miss yeah. out. That, and don't and miss that's out. my thing. And I was like, I got to have you guys come back in. Let's keep pushing these tickets. The energy around boxing i think that that is what makes boxing what it is you once you get past what's going on in the ring yep everybody outside of the ring they come not they truly don't come for the blood they truly don't come to see the knockdowns yep. they know that there's an energy that they're going to mm-hmm. receive from seeing the greatness that happens and so what i look at look at this hall of fame is it's an opportunity for you to be around the people that you've watched and looked up to and wanted to emulate and yes. wanted to shake hands with uh-huh. and wanted to pitch it with guess what as i said this on the last one this is one of the few times where we're actually obligated to, to take, to take the pictures. <laughs> we're, we're actually co- showing up expecting to, to to say hello to y'all and this is one of the few opportunities that you know exactly where we're going to be you i know people come to a lot of big fights out here and their fingers are crossed that such and such is going to be there. Yes. You know what I mean? I've been waiting to see LeBron at the fight for a long time. <laughs> we, now you ain't got to have your fingers crossed. No. Tell, tell everybody who's going in, in this year. Just some of the names yep. of some of the guys. Definitely for the 2024, um, I would definitely, it's Ishe Smith, yep. Layla McCarter, mm-hmm. um, I believe uh, Mark Martino, um, and then obviously um, yourself as well too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I you know I know this is your podcast, Sean, but I did want to ask you, brother, um, Man, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, you've been around at all these events. You've been humble, and you know, and, and and every single time you've been there to honor the other greats. How's it feel to be to be going in? I know you might not have wrote your speech yet, but man, how, listen, how do you feel, brother? I uh, I, I was like, all right, 
cool. <laughs> right? When I seen the 2024, I was like, all right, cool. You know? Uh-huh. Then I seen the 2023 class and I was like, I seen some of the outset. I said, okay, this is cool. Uh-huh. But it just was cool. You know what I mean? 100%. I'm on the phone with Michelle the other day and she kept asking me, what's my ring size? Mm-hmm. And I said, what do you... She said, you know we giving you a ring? <laughs> I said, I get a ring? She said, yeah, well, you know, we, we know we, you know we do. And I was like, wow. Like, that yeah. was when it actually hit me. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it's, I've known about this for a couple months now, mm-hmm. but it took me realizing that something, that there was going to be an opportunity for me to be celebrated, something that most fighters don't do. We don't celebrate things, you know what I mean? So for that was when it really clicked that you're going to have an opportunity to celebrate, be celebrated, and then this ring is going to go on your hand as almost a symbol of the greatness that you have done and tried to contribute. And that's really what it was always about for me, you know what I mean? 100%. So, um, again, mvbhof.com. The tickets are right there. There's three tiers on there. Come hang out with us. Come bowling with us. Oh, and y'all man. already know me and everybody like me. We're going to bowl all night. Man. We're going to be in your face. We're going to be betting push-ups. It's going to be a great time. Um, the other side. The other, the that other, part. The other, we the teaming other side. We're teaming up. We're right, team The up. other side of all that, though, um, the, the, the Chico Corrales, first mm-hmm. Chico Corrales uh, tournament starts on Thursday, Thursday. Um, and it commences on Saturday. Mm-hmm. When it commences, after it's done on Saturday... I'm getting in the ring. We did the uh, we did the sweepstakes um, for given hour, and um, the sweepstakes have ended. They have they're gonna give me winners next week. I'm getting in the ring with two of the winners next week. We're gonna go one round, just a sparring session. But I want you guys to wow. be there to enjoy it. And and uh, Ant's gonna get in the ring. I'm gonna do a round with Ant, and I'm gonna <laughs> wow. do a round with Zatel. <laughs> Let's and, go. Uh, and, and we're just gonna have fun, man. Y'all already know that's what I'm about. Mm-hmm. Wanted you to come in, man. One more time, push these tickets. Appreciate get these you. people's the to, to see the Hall of Fame and be a part of it, Hall of Fame is always important. Yep, you and you're important to us as well too, brother. I appreciate you, Chase. We're honored to bring you in. Yes, honored sir. Honored to bring you in. I'm honored to be there, brother.